Hi guys, it's me your mom Joe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. For today's video, I am going to tackle about acids and bases. First, where do we find acids and bases? They are compounds that are fundamental to the functioning of our world. They are essential to life. They are responsible for many processes in nature. They are important in many products and processes we have come to expect in our daily lives. What is an acid? An acid is a solution that has an excess of hydrogen ions. The more hydrogen ions, the more acidic the solution. What are the properties of an acid? First, it tastes tar conducts electricity corrosive they break down certain substances many acids can corrode fabric skin and as well as the paper some acids react strongly with metals and when the litmus paper turns in red color what are the uses of acids acetic acid is a vinegar a vinegar is a condiment that we use in cooking citric acid lemons limes and oranges it is in many sour candies such as lemon head and
individual starting solutions. So each salt listed in this table can be formed by the reaction between an acid and a base. So those are the common examples of salts. So the first one is what we called or the most common, the sodium chloride with the chemical formula of NaCl. So the uses of that is for food flavoring or food preservative. So that is a table salt. Then the next one, we have here the potassium iodide or Ki. So that is an additive in iodized salt that prevents iodine deficiency. The third one, calcium chloride or the CaCl2. The icer for roads and walkways. Fourth one, potassium chloride or KCl, salt substitute in foods. Calcium carbonate or the CaCO3 found in limestone and seashells. And last one, we have ammonium nitrate or NH4NO3, fertilizer, active ingredient in cold packs. So thanks guys for watching!